Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just got a quick one-card mail day, but my heavens, it's it's a biggie. It's uh, you know, one of the this is gonna be one of the cornerstones in the in uh, my collection, at least for the time being, is maybe I acquire more T two o six cards. So we'll run through this real quick. I got uh, some baby back ribs on the smoker that my alarm's gonna go off here shortly, so I can go check them. It's a beautiful day in Texas. I hope all of you are having a great Sunday. So last Sunday um, was looking through. Actually, I was. I think I was just on Facebook and I got a notification that somebody posted in one of my groups. So I went and looked, and you know, my jaw dropped at the card I saw for the price I saw it. So I thought about it maybe for a minute and decided to make the purchase. And. This came earlier this week, a Triss Speaker T206. It looks like my color is not all that great, my lighting. But if you look at that thing, that is beautiful. You can see the corners. You can see the, the coloring on those. There's no doubt that this was in a scrapbook, but the color, the blue on this is absolutely amazing being kept in the scrapbook helped keep the color and then the other thing you can tell this is definitely what kept this a PSA 1 but I'll take it because you know this is maybe multiple people said in my group that you know that could be the most that's probably the best PSA 1 Trist speaker card there is and they commented on the color you know and like I said it's one of those things where because of the little bit of corner discoloration and that paper loss on the back, I was able to get this for, you know, a pretty adequate price. This is one of those cards I guess I never really thought I was going to own, but after getting the Christy Mathewson a few weeks back, I guess now I'm starting to think that things are potentially more achievable. So, you know, for me too, it's kind of, it brought back a little bit of a childhood memory because when I was in, I think, fourth grade for Christmas, my parents bought my sister and I a Tandy computer, if you all remember those. Uh, I believe that was Radio Shack's, like, in-store brand. And heaven knows how much they paid for that compared to what we're paying for laptops today. Exponentially more. But I had a video game for that that was a baseball game that was all Hall of Fame deceased. And that was where I think I first heard, really, or knew about Tris Speaker. Uh, the other name I really remember from that was Roger Breshnahan, side note. But, so it kind of just temporarily took me back to that uh, nostalgic feeling of being young when we were young and innocent and didn't have to pay bills. But anyway, I thought I'm going to take from the, as I've read before, the T206 collection, the players and their stories. The blip on the Hall of Famers, it appears, are a lot shorter, and maybe that's just because we, as a, as a collecting group, know more about the Hall of Famers than we do the common players. But what we got in here is for Tris Speaker. A Texas native, Tris Speaker was born right-handed but learned to throw and bat lefty after breaking his right arm twice while being thrown from Broncos. That's pretty Texas if you ask me. With his lifetime 345 batting average, Speaker is considered one of the purest hitters of all time. He was a legendary outfielder and helped the Red Sox win two World Series championships. He was also the American League MVP in 1912. Speaker is still the all-time leader in putouts and double plays for his position and owns the top spot for career doubles. He and Ty Cobb, a close friend, were considered the best hitters of the time. Speaker was also a successful manager for Cleveland, leading the Indians to the World Series win in 1920. He was elected into the Hall of Fame in 1937. I don't recall if that's the... Uh, Initial class of the Hall of Fame, you could check out uh, Collecting America's Pastime. Kyle over there has been doing uh, Hall of Fame induction years, so he will definitely know, and you could probably find it out real quickly there if you haven't uh, found his page already. I encourage you to check it out. A couple other things on speaker. He was born April 4th, 19, 1888 in Hubbard, Texas. Died December 8th, 1958 in Lake Whitney, Texas. Batted and threw left, played outfield, the career batting average of 345, and a career managerial record of 617 and 520. Just a little bit about this card. Um, 
As you know, there's 524 cards in the T206 set. This is the 508th most scarce. So this is obviously one of the most common cards in this set. The Hall of Famers are actually pretty common because of who they are. They command the premiums. Um, so he's 508th most scarce out of 524, but there are 10 Hall of Fame cards that are more common than his, actually. So on T206 Insider, if you have your uh, T206 uh, collection calculated there, with this one card, I jumped from 48th to 46th, which was a big move. Um, so I have the 46th best quote-unquote collection there. It's ranked based on who it is, condition. They have a nice little mathematical formula on there. Uh, but it took me from 23.5 points to 26.2 points. So that was pretty cool. Um, I looked real quick. I know I've said in my last couple T206 videos, I didn't really know where my collection was. I did a quick look. I'm still not as updated as I need to be. I'm looking to change some things that I haven't gotten around to it yet. But I believe this to be 58 total cards, including my T213, which I basically consider a T206. But 51 different, so that has me at 51 cards out of 524. That has me at 9.7%. Two more cards will put me over 10% of the set. I never thought I'd get to that point. And a little bit of a spoiler alert, I can tell you that later this week I will be over that 10%. There are more coming. So anyway, hope everyone has a great Sunday. Um, Enjoy your weekend. I've been super busy here. Smoked salmon last night. Did a lot of running around. Smoking ribs today. You know, enjoying this short Texas fall that we get. Man, it is beautiful and it's nice that it's not raining this weekend. So I hope everyone else has a great day. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my page. Please like my video. It helps us out. Any of us that post videos, it helps us out way more than you know. And you can see right in front of me the other places on social media. You can find me. BeansBallCardBlog.com is my website, and most commonly you will be able to find me on Twitter at BeansBCardBlog. I think I've said this three times now, but everybody have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you later.